Okay, we're going to go over how to e-transmit a BIM model in Revit. Uh, I'm using 2019, so the interface in 2018 might look a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're in 2017 or sooner, the e-transmit add-in is not available. So this is only available for 2018 and better. So in order to e-transmit, the first thing we're going to do is close any open models we have. So you'll need to close this, and you'll need to have anyone else that's in the model close it as well. So 2019 is going to kick us out to this screen here. We need to go back one and go into add-ins and then transmit a model. So first is going to ask you for the model to be transmitted and you can browse here and pick the model you want. The second thing is to decide where you want to send the new model being the transmitted model. So we can do browse folders go down here and go into where we want to go. So in here we have zip files. I'll usually create a new folder in here and save it in here. I would keep include transmittal and error reports on. Uh, it just gives you a little text file that shows you what happened and if anything went wrong it'll tell you why. Um, and if you're e-transmitting multiple Revit files at once you can create this in order to have them go in each of their own folder. The next thing is this add files. Um, you can include CAD links and Revit models if you'd like. I generally don't include these and just let the consultants link them manually. If you're e-transmitting in order to create a backup of your model and save it in the archive, it's probably a good idea to keep them checked. I'm going to leave them checked now just so we can see what happens, but again, normally I keep them off if you're sending it to a consultant. For upgrading cleanup, definitely keep this cleanup option checked. Um, I don't check disable work sets. Um, this allows the work sets to come through, especially if you're going to back something up, you want to keep the work sets. And in general, our consultants usually want to be able to see our work sets. Definitely keep purge unused checked. That will help to clean up your model size. And then finally is this chunk of sheet and view options. My preference is to remove all the sheets and include selected view types. And usually the only view types I'll include is just our elevations and floor plans and maybe the sections. Okay. And then you can usually just say save these settings because this is kind of what you want to save. And then hit transmit model. It's usually going to take about mm, a minute or so for a smaller model and maybe up to 10 minutes for a really big model. So it takes a little while. I'm going to just cancel out of here and just show you what we ended up with. So if we go into zip files, here's the folder we just created. Go into here. So here is this file. If we had multiple Revit files and we had that option checked on to create a new file folder for each, you would see multiple folders. If we click in here, this text file gives you a report of what was transmitted. It'll also list any errors that might come through. Here's the central model that you can copy onto ShareFile or wherever you want to use to share the model with your consultants. And then here are these CAD flans that were linked into the model. If I didn't want to bring these through and give my consultants an error because they don't have the links managed correctly, you could just uncheck the CAD plans. So that would happen here. Uncheck. And then hit transmit. So that's it.